Okay, here we have a test for another paper transistor. This one is using pressed carbon. I cut about maybe a quarter inch off of this. This just laying goes all the way down. The idea is that I just make a long one and cut off pieces at certain sizes as needed. So this piece right here, which is basically the slice that was cut off, it's about that much, well maybe, yeah, about that much was cut off. And then it's been folded, but nothing's folded to contact. So we have three leads going in. This has a very low resistance, about 400 ohms. And this has the higher resistance at 12, or, yeah, 1200 ohms. And right here we have a simple timer circuit for the clock. And here's the data lane. And a, I believe a 3.7 ultra fan capacitor. Alright, so we'll put power in there. There we go, there's the clock post. And then we put in the data line, and it should only pop when the uh, clock signal goes, I believe, or the opposite, I forget. Let's find out. Yeah, about the same, I think. So, yeah. We put a pulse in. But this time, instead of having uh, the base going to the negative, I have the base actually going into the uh, bit right here. This, uh, this paper transistor also acts a lot more stable. As you see, it goes on and off in this one. Or I believe the other one would uh, stay illuminated. And it just pulse bright and low. Which is not ideal if you want to have a low and a high signal. Because it wasn't very low on the low. Uh, 